big, incredible, exciting news. As stimulus is coming, the push, push, push of elected officials to get stimulus out is a full regard. As Wall Street is pushing for it, Federal Reserve is pushing for it, President-elect is pushing for it, Mitch McConnell's pushing for it, we're pushing for it, and what's even more exciting is that $200 a month, $2,400 additional per year for Social Security recipients. Oh boy. It's also Veterans Day, and I'll be giving you throughout the day some veterans freebies and free meal deals and meal deal discounts. It's incredible great news. Happy Veterans Day and good mornings on Mornings LA Light. Hey, good morning, everybody. You made it to the middle of the week. We're at the hump day. <laughs> Just, you know, uh, ca cows don't like ca ca cows don't like uh, camels, though. So just don't tell Sir Lloyd that you're loving the camels on the hump day today. Uh, but I'm so glad you joined us on an exciting, really refreshing mornings broadcast. Thank you for tuning into early mornings uh, today, which was really on fire. And uh, throughout the day, I'll be giving you some details about. Uh, veterans meal deals. I may even go live for a special recording because I want you to make sure you get those uh, right to the bone and really great stuff. If you've not subscribed to this channel, please do. We're going live. We're going tape. We're going live. We're going taped. Yesterday's Purple Power Live uh, was uh, was just incredible. So much fun at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time every night, eight nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We had about thirty thousand people in the view, in the room or viewing within about fifteen minutes, which was just you know uh, really good. Uh, more more. More, more fans here than, you know, Nancy Pelosi's hairstylist. So, you know, I'm so glad you joined me. It's going to be a great day. Also, like this video. Coming up in this video, I'll be going over what's going on in the bond market. And you know what the bond market means? It means stimulus. Then I'll be going over what's going on in the housing starts. It suggests the need for stimulus. Spoiler alert on that one. Then I'll be going over that $200 a month add-on for Social Security, SSI, and veterans. Boy, uh, need it. That's $2,400 a year insane, just in categorically incredible great news. And then I'll be going over stimulus uh, and your stimulus checks and answer some of your incredible questions and comments and more about what's going on on Wall Street this morning. All right, let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news as you start this morning is that Wall Street is flat. Stocks are trading basically flat today. No big major news across the board as people wait for stimulus, but the bond market is up about 1% at the time of this recording. This is really good news. You know why? Because when the bond market trades up, it means that they're looking at stimulus coming, that stimulus needs bonds to be sold to pay for the debt. And so finally, we see some movement. All across the board, Wall Street has really only two topics of discussions on a national level today. They are stimulus and COVID cases. The COVID stories are a little bit bleak and glim. I think you, uh, gloomy, I think you know what they are, so I don't have to digest into them, digress into them. But what I will be doing in this and other recordings is I will be going over what stimulus you need to get now now from CARES Act 1 if you or a family member or a household member get COVID. So we're going to be going over that incredible uh, news. The Let's turn to the housing market. You know, that housing market that some Republicans wanted to brag about is so great, doing so well. Uh, it's indicative of how good the economy is. Well, it's not doing well anymore. <laughs> That's gone. Check that off the list. That's also not doing well. Need stimulus. Another low round of interest rates on the 30-year fixed mortgage last week did not help drag home buyers out of their recent slump, report CNBC. Declining demand for buying mortgage applications fell 1% last week, just 1.5% uh, just last week compared to the previous week. Home home purchases are down 3% for the week and were 16% and were 16%, and were 16 higher than a week, year ago. The purchase market continues its recent slump. Um, it's putting pressure. 
bottom line, stimulus. Need some stimulus. Uh, this is incredibly clear news. Now, what viewers were really excited about, and I'll be detailing them all throughout all throughout the day, is really this push, push, push for SSDI add-ons. And this amid the statement made by Michael Osterloeb, who is uh, CDR's uh, head in an interview this morning. He's part of the transition team. What America has to understand is we're about to enter COVID hell. Um, we're not even close to the peak, and our hospitals are now being overrun. We're at 120,000 new COVID cases. You need this stimulus, and you need it right now, especially people who are seniors or veterans or on SSDI or SSI. You need stimulus right now. So this is what the Warren plan, which became the Biden plan, says about SSI and SSDI add-ons. Congress should temporarily raise monthly benefic benefits for Social Security veterans and supplemental income beneficiaries as part of the stimulus relief efforts. Wow, that's incredible great news. Increasing Social Security benefits is the quickest way to get money out the door during an economic crisis. I mean, that's absolutely important. One of the major issues that we talk about on this channel is routing times. You always hear me talk about routing times. Okay, it becomes a law. How soon do we get it? Five months from now? Ten months from now? I have to go search for it at the casino? Where is it? Uh, you know, you passed I haven't seen it. Uh, we're dealing with that with CARES Act 1. You hear me talking about grants, use or lose, $150 billion of CARES Act 1 money that is unused that's sitting around. Why are we dealing with that in November from March CARES Act stimulus money? So that's what that's what Senator Warren's talking about. We just don't want to do that CARES Act 1 thing where we're just waiting around for money from March in November. She wants the money to land in your bank account immediately. Increase in Social Security benefits is the quickest way to get the money into the, in the door during an economic crisis. Out of the door. Out of the door, not in the door. Uh, so Congress is allocating billions of dollars to deal with COVID-19, and those need to be directed to Americans' pockets. I love that. It's very clear. Uh, right now, we're facing a public health crisis, an economic crisis. Uh, these Americans are scared about the heightened risk of illness. That is why we're pushing for the following. She even uses the word push. She doesn't use push, push, push. But, you know, we can just add the extra two pushes in there and just, you know, get the purple power message out very clear. Uh, right now, we need, we are pushing to include in Congress's next stimulus package, the second stimulus package, a 200 dollar increase in the monthly benefits for all social security veterans and social and supplemental security income beneficiaries through the end of 2021 Yes, you did not hear me say 2020. I said 2021. This is incredible great news because, you know, how many months are in the month of 20, in the month of 2021? Well, if you ask Larry Cadillac, next year has five months. <laughs> no, there's 12 months, 12 times $200, $2,400 additionally next year for my SSDI, SSI, and Social Security beneficiaries. Uh, wow. Is this a stimulus check? Well, it's a stimulus item. It's a stimulus package item. It wouldn't say stimulus check because it's not a separate check you're going to get. It's going to go on top of your existing payments every month. But by the end of the year, $2,400. But then she says this. Hold up. It gets better. This will put about $4,000 in the pockets of seniors and people with disabilities who have earned this benefit by contributing Social Security with every paycheck. $4,000. A simple benefit increase like this will help improve the lives of millions of Americans, help our economy stabilize and recover. Wow. This is just incredibly jaw-dropping news. you got to get this passed. This is, again, the Warren plan, the Elizabeth Warren and Ron Wynn plan, the both senators. They uh, they said these statements during the campaign trail, uh, and now Joe Biden has co-signed them, and, said, and now they're part of the Biden plan for transition, for stimulus, for economic recovery of this country. This is categorically incredible great news. This needs to get passed. It's absolutely so imperative. Um, I talk about a lot of Democrats in the House 
who want to do the same thing. They talk about how much it's costing for seniors to live. Cost of living is going up. We talk about cost of living a lot on this channel. I ask you what the gay e eggs are, a uh, dozen eggs, what a gallon of milk is, and it's just going up. I, I think I I think I pissed off someone the other day because I said, uh, wow, my milk is usually reasonable. It's because of Kroger. There's Kroger for some reason. Kroger's really cheap. Don't tell them that. But, you know, it's usually like two twenty on sale with a little thing you scan, the little card you scan at the on your keychain at the at the cash register. Uh and then it went to two fifty. I thought I almost lost it, the extra twenty five cents. I said, What are you doing? What's two fifty? Uh needless to say, I do know some markets in LA that charge, you know, three dollars a gallon. Well someone said in the comments, What are you talking about two fifty? That's just not a lot. I'm paying five dollars a gallon for milk. <laughs> So, you know, milk envy we have on this channel. We have milk envy. We have eggs. I have eggs envy. Eggs are always very expensive in LA. The the the, um, the chickens, you know, get their hair extensions every week and their Botox every third week of the uh, you down in, in uh, Coca de Casa, you know, for with the Real Housewives. <laughs> you know, they they're very glamorous chickens that lay our eggs out here. Uh, and so as a result, it's just our cost of living. Everyone's cost of living is going up. And Jerome Powell says enough is enough. Jerome Powell says I'm going to take care of that. Don't worry, LA. Like, stop making those recordings about cost of loving. I'm taking care of it. Okay, Jerome, I'm keeping you to it. He says, you know, his his inflation was his fault. He he wanted inflation. Now we have inflation, but he understands the economy is stagnant, so he does not want stagnant and stagflation that causes an economic an economic downturn. So Jerome Powell's ensuring he promised last week that he's not allowing these milk and eggs to go up anymore. Thank God, Jerome, you know, otherwise you're going to have to get the kitchen, kick, uh, the, uh, the chickens in your backyard and get some eggs because we ain't dealing with these, you know, $5 gallon milk. Um, so providing Americans with one-time cash payments, as members of both parties have suggested, would certainly provide many families with a much-needed cushion to cover the cost of basic necessities like food and rent. But we should not neglect channels like Social Security and unemployment insurance that have long been a critical source of income securities for workers and seniors and people with disabilities. Okay, so this is incredibly important news, and it's also incredibly important because you asked this in some of the questions. What Elizabeth Warren said that stimulus checks, the traditional word of a stimulus check, that check that goes out to, you know, goes in the mail uh, or lands in your bank account that goes out to lots and lots of people. That one-time cash payment, she says that's one thing, but it should not be the only means of relief from my view for people on SSI, SSDI, and Social Security. So to answer your question, <laughs> she answers your question for you. Can I get a stimulus check and this add-on? Yes, the proposal, the Biden proposal is to you to get everything, not to get one or the other. So don't worry about that. Um, next, that if you uh, would you be able to qualify for rent aid? Yes. Would you be entitled to a food aid? Yes. Would you be entitled to a food stamps increase? Yes. Does that cancel out anything? No. I'm going to say that again. Does it cancel out anything? No. Nothing conflicts. If something conflicts, I'll tell you. Um, if something contrasts or clashes like you know um some of her her pants suits you know the, the, the with the yeah anyway uh yeah her styling is i think the hairstylist does the styling as well uh we'll tell you if something's clashing and not looking stylish uh so yes you get all those things it's incredible great news so Expanding Social Security benefits by $200 a month through 2021 would be a more stable and reliable source of support for these seniors in the economy as public health officials work to contain the virus. And this is also important because I got this question a lot yesterday or the day before. Now that we have a vaccine, does this mean they don't care about us? No. Don't do that. Don't say that. No, no, no. Absolutely not. Moreover, um, it doesn't. It you know it doesn't change the the urgency to get stimulus out under this plan. Um, Social Security benefits have a large and immediate significant impact on spending. This is very well said. So this is why a lot of people think that Elizabeth Warren may be your next Treasury Secretary because she says that putting stimulus in your hands at $200 a month for SSDI and SSEI helps improve the spending a power of a great sum of American people. Why, when the economy's in a downturn, getting money back right in the direction requires Americans to start spending money, and researchers have found that permanent Social Security benefits increase a large, immediate, and significant positive impact on spending. Amen. I mean, this is what's incredible 
incredibly important. I'll have more about her comments later today. These are absolutely incredible. As Joe Biden has proposed as the president-elect in his transition, provide state and local and tribal governments with the aid they need so educators, firefighters, and other essential workers aren't laid off. That's hazard pay. Per extend crisis unemployment insurance for those who are out of work. That's FPUC, FP, F. P-E-U-C, U-I, and P-U-A. Provide a comeback package for Main Street businesses and entrepreneurs. That's P-P-P and E-I-D-L. Immediately put people back to work by enlisting them in a, in a fight to the pandemic. This is all really great news. Quote, the truth is the economy wasn't working for folks long before this crisis hit. That's why Senator Harris and I won't just build back it the way things were. We'll build it back better. We won't be satisfied and the economy starts working for everyone. This is incredible great news. So then um, there's just so much other things. You saw that Hazard Pay is back on, baby. Oh, it's just exciting. That student loan uh, debt is is back is just is coming on. Biden would would cancel out, would forgive student loan debts, would forgive ten thousand dollars in student debt for all borrowers, and the rest of the debt for those who attended public colleges and historically black colleges and universities who made less than one hundred twenty five thousand a year. Oh my God! It just keeps on getting better by the minute. And you had some incredible questions and comments from last week, yesterday's video. Finally, at the end of this video is a personal message. Stay with me for that. All right, Coyote Forty Two. Uh, if they had any respect for the Americans, we would have had money in our account yesterday. Corey McNeil, none of the uh, get this done. Carol, we need this before Christmas. Well said, Carol. Robin, Mitch says there's a stimulus package coming out. Um, Tom Higgins, the retailers are doomed for the holidays without stimulus money. That's well said. Yolanda Martinez, are we getting anything now? We need the money now. Melanda, um, David, I, um, let's get it done. Mayor B, we're all well and good. They need to get going. Kim Estrada, um, need to make it happen. Rebecca, the holidays are upon us. It's sad to think of all the children and families that will not be in their homes because our great government has abandoned them for our selfish reasons. Truth, when the money hits, um, uh, get a gun. Christina, um, uh, Judy, when will there, when will we get the SSI increase starting the money? So the proposal is as soon as it passes law. So it would be about 10 days after it becomes a law. Um, it hasn't been introduced to the floor, but this is the plan. Elizabeth, um, let's get this happening. Coney, sounds good. They need to price, freeze prices on food, clothing, etc. Absolutely love the shirt. I don't remember what shirt that was. <laughs> uh, appreciate. Oh, it was the, uh, it was the, uh, bad, uh, it was the bad, uh, shirt. I mean, not the bad, uh, the, um, the, uh, tropical shirt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on a personal note, throughout the day, I will be detailing some uh, veterans meal deals and freebies and meal deals because LA, like the website, has always done a lot of veterans coverage. It's a big, sh it's a big story. So I'll be delivering them throughout the day or going live because there may be too many to deliver in a single broadcast. Still, stay with me for that. Coming up after this is holidays, LA, like at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time, which may feature some of those deals. As always, go to the Fun Channel. Subscribe. Subscribe because we're going to get through this pandemic together. Also, like this video. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, and stay up for more.